bata, halina at samahan niyo ako mag-aral. Turuan niyo ako ha. Okay, sige. Tulungan niyo ako dito ha. Sabi dito ay find the coordinates of the vertex of each quadric and function as shown in the example. Number 1. Y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 7. What the solution is y is equal to x minus 3 squared minus blank plus 7. Hmm, how to get this? Let's look at the example. So it says here, y is equal to x minus 3 squared minus 9. How did they get the 9? Hmm, I know. Maybe if, because 3 squared... So, the 3 squared is actually 9. And they put the negative on front of 9. So, I guess you have to do the same thing in number 1. So, 3 squared. 3 squared. Hmm. Oh, it's 9. Then, negative to put it over here. Okay. Plus 7. Next is x minus 3 squared minus Blank. Hmm, how to get blank here? Oh, let's look at the example again. So it says here that x minus 3 squared minus 4. Hmm, how, what do you think? How did they get the 4? Hmm, I know. Maybe they negative 9 plus 5 is equal to negative 4. Maybe that's how they get negative 4. Let's do the same thing over in number 1. So, negative 9 plus 7 is equal to negative 2. Okay, now we just have to find what is the vertex in the box. Hmm, let's look at the example again. Maybe we have something to know. So, it says vertex 3, negative 4. Hmm, so I guess they copied the negative 4 over here and they... And then they made negative 3, positive 3. Hmm. I guess we just have to do the same thing over here. So, so over here is positive. So, it will be positive 3. And over here will be negative 2. Yay! We did number 1. Let's go to number 2. Number 2 is y is equal to x squared minus 8x minus 3. y is equal to x minus blank squared. Hmm, what do you think is in the box? Hmm, let's look at the example. I, I didn't see anything about that. So it says here that y is equal to x minus 3 squared. How did they get the 3? Wait, oh yeah. It's the half of 6. So we just we have to do whatever's in the middle of the equation. I guess we have let's do it same as number 2. So so the middle of the equation is negative 8. Negative 8. So, what is the half of negative 8? Hmm. Oh, I know. It's negative 4. Okay, let's move on now. x equal to negative 4 squared minus blank minus 3. Hmm. What is in the next box? Let's look back in the example. So, it says here that y is equal to x minus 3 squared minus 9. Oh, we did the same thing in number 1. Let's, I still remember the, what I said. So, let's do the same thing in number 2. So, 4 times 4 is 16. And we just have to put the negative back here. Okay, let's see what's next. An x equal to blank squared. Hmm, what could this be? Let's look at number 1 now, this time, instead of this example. Hmm, so I guess it looks the, the same over here. So I guess you just have to copy the number. 
Okay. So over here. How how to do it again? Good job. You just have to do the same thing in number 1. Just answer this equi equation. Negative 6.